she, she just melted and said, oh my gosh, like my child would love this. She would think it's so special. I'm so glad you're doing this. Thank you so much. Kids living with chronic illnesses often feel alone, unsure how to explain their condition to other kids. One UT grab ho hopes a teddy bear can help change that. I met with Allison Campbell about her grant winning project Fluffy Friends and how a special toy can make a difference. Being sick is no fun. Being chronically sick with an illness a lot of people can't see is a whole different battle. The detrimental effects of chronic illness are lifelong and they're really quite impactful. Um, so and we've seen cases where I mean, kids are clinging on to the part of childhood that were, that was stolen from them. Like the parts where they have to explain their conditions to those who just don't know. Allison Campbell wants to make that talk a little easier. It's essentially just one of our vehicles to provide comfort to these kids, um, to tr provide true empathy to what they're going through when clearly kids their age, but even some grownups might not understand. And she's doing it with teddy bears who have secret pockets that hold plush versions of the treatments their kids are going through. Provide them with a little buddy who can understand what they're going through in every way. The first round of bears will be for kids with hydrocephalus, which is a buildup of spinal fluid on the brain. It's treated with a shunt and the bears will have a plush one. They can show their friends and raise awareness for their condition or just pull it out to remind themselves that they're not alone in the journey anymore. Um, or if they don't want to share it, they can keep it hidden inside so only they know that they're not alone. She got the idea from another medically themed activity many know well. The Teddy Bear Wellness Clinic at the Fantasy of Trees, which is East Tennessee Children's Hospital's like annual fundraising event where they children get a teddy bear, they diagnose it for a certain ailment, and then they treat the bear for that ailment. Allison has no business background. The pre-med UT grad took a chance on her idea and competed in the 2021 Boyd Venture Challenge. She left with a check for $5,000 in startup funding for fluffy friends for children with chronic conditions, giving her $11,000 total from other competitions. It will go towards launching our pilot program at East Tennessee Children's Hospital for phase one. As an ambassador for the hospital who spent plenty of time herself at Children's, Allison knows what a difference this small act of kindness can make. But we're definitely just trying to make sure that everyone who could benefit from them is reached. Now, Allison's working on getting a prototype made now. What you saw is a storybook that'll come with each of those. That's what this mm -hmm. is right here. With the grant funding she won through UT, it'll fund about 900 bears. She's going to be going to med school and plans to be a pediatric, pediatric neurosurgeon. This is incredible.